Gamescom, welcoming all of our viewers back. And uh, it's actually after closing time here at the Andrew Edlin Gallery. Andrew's uncle was named Paul Edlin, and the title of the show is Family Business. We're just going to take a run through here. Now, all these pieces are fabricated from stamp fragments. This piece is titled Past and Present, 1999. When did Paul die? I assume he did die. Is this on the press release? I don't know. This is titled Rebel, 1999. Well, I've talked to Andrew a bit about uh, his uncle and uh, one of the other things that Andrew does is uh, he is now the owner of the Outsider Art Fair. And uh, for any of you viewers of the Calm Report, you know that I'm a big fan of Outsider Art. This is titled Bookie and Letter. Actually, I like these uh, pieces on the black background. This is titled Sacrifice. And uh, yeah, these funky frames are pretty nice. Oh, that's a beautiful piece. It's titled Bird Lady. This makes me think of a Paul Clay, maybe. And uh, James Joyce. <coughs> oh, the line work is nice. And that uh, Burnt Sienna Tempera, I think these are mixed media. And that's 10 by 8 inches. Untitled. Well, Andrew just left. He was probably going over to the after party, but uh, I think uh, when you see work like this and some of the other outsiders, there's always the question of uh, when do you start being an outsider or stop being an outsider? Some nice little bird pieces. Oh wow, that is nice. This is titled, Eye of a Witch. Stamps, temper, watercolor, and crayon. And I would count the frame too, so we've got some wood in there. Rock and roll dancers. Oh. They're getting ready to shut the doors. I better run through the rest here. Well, we'll sweep the main gallery here. This is a uh, beautiful installation. And, you know, it's remarkable when you see them from a distance like this because you can pick up on the uh, I guess what I would call the formalistic abstract elements, the rectangles and circles and triangles, the forms. This is titled House of Collage, 1992. Anyway, um, getting back to uh, the question of outsiders versus insiders. I know that Andrew also has shown Henry Darger and uh, some other great outsiders. But I think he said it was his uncle that first uh, kind of inspired him to uh, start looking at the more marginal artists. This is titled To the Lighthouse. It also strikes me as a very modern, kind of a 1950s or 60s modern design. This is titled Ochre's Tans and Greens. And uh, you can see that Paul is a pretty sophisticated uh, designer. This is Jonah's sister. Yeah, 
And uh, one of the other projects I've been working on has been um, a study of avant-garde artists and what it means to be an avant-garde artist. This is kind of titled Goddess of the White Whale, 1999. Postage stamp fragments on board. And uh, I think there are some similarities between avant-garde artists and outsider artists. One of them is that uh, they use new or unusual materials. There is a break with the past. A lot of times there are elements of collage or fragmented forms. This is called Siblings, 1997. This is 20 by 16 inches on museum board. It's titled Frankenstein's Dream. And uh, there's also a new mode of distribution, which I guess applies to how you would approach the market. It's titled Internet. <laughs> I'm getting the eye, I'd better run through the last of this. This is called Rera Avs Park 2000. And uh, this little blue figure here on the side kind of makes me think of something you might see running around the background in a Bosch. Uh, I'm just about done. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is titled Mirror of Birds, and they're telling me I gotta definitely get out and out. Doomsayer. And dysfunctional family. So this is James Calm running through and running out of family business. Paul Edlin here at the Andrew Edlin Gallery. Thank you, Kate.